Hello, I'm Chris Fisher. We are going to be reading Stanley in Space by Jeff Brown. Okay, chapter one, The Call. It was Saturday morning and Mr. and Mrs. Lamb Chop were putting up wallpaper in the kitchen. Isn't this nice, George? said Mrs. Lamb Chop as she was stirring pa wallpaper paste. No excitement, a perfect usual day. Mr. Lambchop knew just what she meant. Excitement was often troublesome. The flatness of their son Stanley, for example, after his big bolt board settled on him overnight. Exciting but worrying too, till Stanley got round again. And that genie visiting, granting wishes, oh, very exciting. But all the wishes had to be unwished before the genie returned to the lamp from which he sprung. Yes, dear, Mrs. Mr. Lambchop smoothed down wallpaper. Ordinary, the best sort of day. In the living room, Stanley Lambchop and his younger brother, Arthur, were watching a Tom Toad cartoon on TV. The sporty toad was water skiing and fell off Making a great splash, Arthur laughed so hard he did not hear the telephone, but Stanley answered it. Lamb chop residents, said the caller. The President of the United States speaking. Who is this? Stanley smiled. The King of France. They don't have kings in France, not anymore. Excuse me, but I'm too busy for jokes. Stanley kept his eyes on the TV. My brother and I are watching Tom Toad show. Well, you keep watching, young fellow. The caller hung up just as Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Lambchop came into the to watch the rest of the show. Hey, guess what? Stanley said. He is for horses, said Mrs. Lambchop, mindful always of careful speech. Who called, dear? Stanley laughed. President of the United States. Arthur laughed too. Stanley said he was the king of France. Tom Toad vanished suddenly from the TV screen and the American flag appeared. We bring you a special announcement from the White House in Washington, D.C., said the deep voice in, of the announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States. The screen showed the president looking very serious behind a desk. My fellow Americans, the president said. I'm sorry to interrupt this program, but someone out there just doesn't realize that I am a very busy man who can't waste time joking on the telephone. I hope the particular person I'm talking to, and I do not mean the king of France, will remember that. Thank you. Now there, now here's the Toad show again. Tom Toad, still water skiing, came back on TV. Stanley, exclaimed Mrs. Lambchop. The king of France, indeed. Gosh, Arthur said. Will Stanley get put in jail? There's no law against being a telephone, smarty, Mr. Lambchop said. Perhaps there should be. The telephone rang, and he answered it. George Lambchop here. Good. It was the president. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Oh, my, Mr. Lambchop said. Please excuse. Hold on. You're the fellow that has the boy that was flat once. Got his picture in the newspaper. My son Stanley, Mr. President, Mr. Lambchop said, to let the others know who was calling. I had to be sure, said the president. We have to get together, Lambchop. I'll send my private plane right now, fetch you all here to the Washington, D.C. Mr. Lambchop gasped. Private plane? Washington? All of us? The whole family? The president chuckled, including the king of France. And that is the end of chapter one.